Welcome to the seventh lecture in Module 2. This lecture is entitled Finding Z-Scores When Areas Are Known, Looking for the Boundaries, brought to you by the dog. Now we're going to examine a methodology to find Z-Scores when we're provided an area under a curve which is centered on the mean. In this sort of problem, we are given an area which is balanced equally over the mean in the standard normal distribution curve, and with that given area, we're asked to find the z-score boundaries which will trap that specific area. The idea is, is that the area balances on mean, the z-scores on either side, one will be negative and one will be positive, will be reflections of each other. We need to find the z-scores that capture that area. For our specific problem, we will use an area equal to 0 0.6043 which is centered upon the mean, and we will look for the z-scores that trap that area. The respective z-scores of interest to us will be a negative z-score and a positive z-score, which trap an area equal to 0.6043. These, since this curve is exactly symmetrical, the negative z-score over here will have its positive z-score equivalent, which causes that area to balance upon the mean. In order to see how to find these z-scores, you need to pay very, very, very close attention. We have the area that we're looking for, which is represented in purple. Now notice the rest of the curve, this part out here on the left and this part out here in the right. Those parts are not included in the area, therefore they're called the error, and we will refer to them with a specific methodology. The error that area which is not included in the area that we seek is represented by the Greek letter alpha. Looks like a little fish swimming sideways, doesn't it? We call the area outside of our desired area by the title of era. The era is represented by alpha. Alpha represents the total area, era, which is this amount plus this amount. For this particular problem, since A is equal to 0.6043, our error, represented by the Greek letter alpha, lies on each side of that specific area. And a negative z-score and a positive z-score will allow us to trap this error, area and you have this particular error on each side. The error, which is of interest to us, alpha, is equal to the entire area under the curve, which is 1, minus this area, which we've identified here of 0 0.6043. So our alpha is equal to 0 0.3957. Now keep in mind that the 0 0.3957, half of it lies here and half of it lies here. Well, we're almost there. We started with an area here and using that known era, area of 0 0.6043, we were able to trap alpha, which is the error, and we knew that we had 0.3957 in error. That's the, the amount outside the known area. Now then we need to note that this error is divided in half and can be represented symbolically as alpha divided by two. So we have half of alpha over here and we have half of alpha over here. And to find out how much error is right here, alpha over two, we just take our total alpha, 0.3957, and divide it by 2, and we come out with a value of 0.1978. In other words, we have 0.1978 area here. Now we know that the area to the right of this negative z equals 0.1978. The question is, can we find a negative z which has an area of 0.1978 in our table? Now this is just an issue of reading down the table. Since we know that this value is less than 0.5, we will use our negative z score tables and we'll go through these values looking for 0 0.1978, 0 0.1978, 0 0.1, and lo and behold we don't find 0 0.1978, but we find 0 0.1977. So we found a very close value that we can work with. Now we just simply have to determine what z-score gave us that. Utilizing our value of 0.1977, we go across to negative 0.8, and we go up to 0.05. So the z-score that has a value of 0.1977, which is closest to our 0.1978, 
is z equals to negative 0 0.85. Now we captured the lower bounds, which is z of negative 0 0.85. We know that it is perfectly symmetrical around mean mu of 0. So we have z equals negative 0 0.85 and z equals 0 0.85. So between these two values, we capture 64.43% of the data. Man, that took a little work, but more practice, practice and practice, and you'll get there.